Shalom, Yashala, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give infinity honors to my Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakat, Badash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that rule well the truth of sincerity. I'd like to give salutations to the shepherds of Berea camp, salutations to the house of David, the Abdah, the Abdah, man, women, and children out there preaching this word in truth of sincerity. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's scattered abroad. You know, that we uh, pray to the Lord to raise up, you know, in a, in a speedily fashion within these times, man. Okay. This is the priest Karak Kakahan from the Shepherds of Bered Camp. Just coming to you with Lord willing to uh, quick to the point, potent, edifying, sit down. And, you know, I just want to talk on this topic, man. You know, because we're in a time right now, you know what I'm saying, where you have a whole bunch of famines going on. You know, you have dirty water, which looks like freaking, you know, coffee slash you who water over there in Mississippi. You know, you have situations where you go to the supermarkets, you see there's nothing on the shelves, you know what I'm saying, nothing's, nothing's in stock. It's a big famine going on, and at the same time, you know, we're dealing with a society that says that we're in a recession, but then they could afford to give, you know, Stephen Curry uh, a, a billion dollars, you know what I'm saying, in money. You could, they could afford to constantly give, you know, billions of dollars to Ukraine. They could afford to continue to uh, uh, fund these wars and certain things that's going on. But my real question is this, because, you know, you're in a time where, you know, Jake is uh, on the rise dealing with technology and constantly on Instagram and constantly on YouTube, you know, talking about, you know, how they recession proof and, you know, pretty much how, you know, they found a way out and how to um, gather money. But at the same time, when you're looking at the infrastructure of the society, it shows that everything in the dollar is crashing. So, you know, why is it all of a sudden now, you know, we're in a time where it seems like, you know, they're, they're eager to give Jake you know, all these different opportunities and somehow Jake is finding all these different ways to make money. But then when you read, when you look at the news, you see the dollar is crashing every single day. So, you know, something has to click in your head where you say, you know, you know, what is this all leading to? And we see that they're constantly putting these different bills in, okay, dealing with a digital currency. All right. So, so this whole thing is one ploy just to get Jake used to a certain lifestyle so that now when they take that away and you're forced to take this MOTB, okay. Or should I say they present you with this MOTB, naturally you're going to want to go to it because why? You are already accustomed to living a certain lifestyle. But the question is, you know, in a time where they say it's a recession, you know, my question is, are you really recession proof? Okay, because the recession, you know, is that really dealing with your physical gains or is it dealing more with the spiritual? Okay, so, you know, let me get this right here. It says, what is a recession? So what is recession proof? It says recession proof refers to assets, companies, industries or other entitles that do not decline in value during a recession. Right. And guess what? <clears throat> you can't say, you know, what I'm saying is dealing with transporting freight back and forth, regardless of whatever type of transportation you have it with, because we've constantly seen over the last two years when that de decreased. OK, whether it be, you know, trucks, whether it be cargo dealing with on um, the boats they've been decreased now we understand you know from the scriptures that that's going to continue to go on but it's been a decrease in that okay anything in the society dealing with finance has constantly decreased anything dealing with assets has been decreased okay so in that time when everything is in decreasing man when they tell you to grind the shop below will you truly be recession proof because all these individuals that got millions of dollars that's living it up when they crash the dollar, which they are already in process of doing, then what substance will you have? When these supermarkets are turned into FEMA camps, when there's no more food out here, are you truly recession proof? Because you see, individuals of this world, and when I say that, I'm talking mainly about you Israelites, man, because that's who the that's who the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, came back for, man. Okay, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Okay, are you truly going to be recession proof in that time? Because, yes, we see Jake out here, they making their money. But at the end of the day, when that dollar has no value, then what are you going to do? When your ribs is touching, then what are you going to do? So let's get these scriptures, man. We got Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right? Which means what? When you're in this truth, you have, you have to understand that you're going to be tested. And one of the beautiful things about this truth is that the Lord puts you in certain situations where he will never break you if you are one of his chosen, but he will put you in a real confined situation where you have to call upon him. You're going to be in a real, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 
I'll say non-comfortable situation. Okay, so you're going to be in a situation where you may feel like, you know, uh, I don't have enough money for the next week. Okay, and why is that? Because the Lord is preparing you. Because when that time comes, you'll be used to it. And through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, he's going to lead you through the Holy Spirit. But you've been through this already. Okay, you've constantly fasted. You've constantly prayed. So you could be able to go a day without food, two days without food. See, these individuals, they've never fasted a day in their life. They've never truly prayed to their Lord Savior a day in their life. When they go through temptations, who do they who do they pray to? They say, oh, God, why this? But they're really praying to Satan because they trust in their assets and their, their, their physical assets, okay, and resources. So when they go through temptation, it's just, you know, God, Lord, why me? And saying, why not you? Go through that temptation, man. Go through it. It says, verse 2, set thy heart all right and constantly endure, right? And this truth, you have to constantly endure. Like the scriptures tell you about being a good soldier for Yahweh Shah Mashiach, pretty much paraphrasing. A soldier is constantly enduring. You know what I'm saying? Of course, uh, a soldier deals with what? All the different type of terrains. Okay, he never knows, you know, when he's on call. He could be right there in the wilderness at a drop of a dime. Something could happen. You got to hurry up, get dressed and run. You don't have no time to prepare. And guess what? That's how it is with brothers and his truth. A lot of things are just going off the Holy Spirit. You know, a lot of things don't deal with preparing. You know, you just have to trust in the Lord that he uh, uh, direct your steps uprightly, man. Okay, it says, and make not haste in time of trouble. And guess what? We are getting close to that time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, we're soon to uh, the book of Jeremiah, man. We are getting close to that time. So when brothers are going through certain situations, you know, whether it be, you know, trying to find a job, whether it be uh, situations with your parents, whether it be situations with your rib, whether it be situations with, with, your, with, with your, uh, your kids, you know, regardless of the situation, you know, finances, hey, you have to sit back and ponder and read the scriptures and find comfort in them. And no, this is just the Lord preparing you because if you was to not go through anything, if you was to constantly just uh, have whatever you want, and live it up. When you look at these these dudes on Instagram, you know, they portraying a false uh, narrative, man. You know, so-called so living their best life. Okay, so now the people that's not aware, they're looking at it like, damn, I must be doing something wrong. I got to get it any way I can so I can live my best life. But when you never go through anything or acknowledge that, you're not going to be prepared. And this is why the Lord puts us through certain things so we can ponder on it, so we can read these scriptures, man, and prepare ourselves. It says, verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away. Right, cleave unto who? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, the heavenly father named me in Yahweh, which means he is to be. And his son's name, okay, which is world so ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, meaning Yahweh Shah. Okay, it says what? Cleave unto him and depart not away. What does that mean? That means cleave unto these holy scriptures, okay? Call upon his name. Constantly pray to him, okay? Constantly pray that he uh, uh, bless you with deep wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? That's what that means. It says that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Right. And guess what? We are coming up to these times, Akio. Okay. And in that time, guess what? We are going to be increased. Okay. That's going to be the time when, brothers, it's truly going to be recession proof. Okay. The time when people that's claiming that they're recession proof and they're going to realize they're not, that's when the Lord is going to uh, 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 pretty much uh, 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 exalt, okay, his, 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 his hopeful elect, man. Those are the ones that's going to be increased in that time. Okay? And that right there is going to be something that's never been seen before. Okay? That's going to be something that is going to uh, uh, drive these people insane. Like, wait a minute. These individuals? When the Lord bless brothers with spiritual powers, when the Lord just drop off a whole, a whole sandwich or a piece of power, whatever, in that time for brothers, man. Whether it be through ravens, through any type of situation, when brothers out here can't eat. The Lord's going to take care of his chosen, man. It says, verse 4, Whatsoever is brought unto thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And guess what? When you're going through it, yes, it feels different. Yes, it's one thing to say and it's one thing to go through it. But the Lord said what? Take it cheerfully. Because in, in the end of the day, guess what? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we defeated death. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and I'm going to keep saying that name over and over again because as many times they want to say Jesus, as many times we got to combat that with the real name. Guess what? We understand our promise. We know that the Heavenly Father Yahweh is a man that cannot lie. So we understand that there is a glorious kingdom that's coming. So we can take all this cheerfully because this is nothing. It's defeated already. 
We just going through the motion. Now, we don't know who to elect. Oh, I pray that, you know, myself, you know, the Akium, that's part of Shepherd Berea Kim, and all the other Akium out there pushing this word truth sincerity are part of that fold. But the glorious part of it is that, guess what? This wicked world is coming to an end. So you should take this cheerfully. There's going to be a time where it's going to look like it was just a bad nightmare. It's going to be gone. It says, be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Right? Be patient. Because it's only for a little matter of time. Now, we don't know how long that time is, but we know it always has an end. Job was changed to a lower state. Then what happened? He was glorified. You see that? He was glorified. And that time, guess what? When that lower state happens on all this world, when that famine comes, okay, guess what? We're going to be patient and the Lord is going to raise us up. Verse 5, for gold is tried in the fire. And guess what? You know what? Let me finish on. An acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And that's what we're going through right now. When it feels like you're burning, you know what I'm saying? And your heart is beating fast and you got knots in your stomach and your head is hurting. And you're going through the trials of life. And you're like, ah, guess what? That's the Lord purifying you. Making you acceptable. Okay? Because that's exactly what you do with gold. Gold has all that impurities on it. When you put that hot fire on it, it takes all the impurities off. And after that, you see that thing shine for what it really is, man. Okay, and we are that gold. So the Lord is going to do what? The Lord is going to do what? He's going he's gonna to purify that gold. Get the purities off, man. Okay? It says... Uh, verse six, believe in him and he will help thee order thy way. All right. And trust in him. And you see, and that's the pro and that's the thing right there. Our people don't trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. They don't trust in the heavenly father. They trust in the wicked of this world. Okay. These elite banking families. Okay. The line that comes from the, the individuals that come from the line of King Harry, uh, King, uh, King Charles. How about that? The ones that look red all over when you look at them in the picture, man. They do not look white. We talking about them. Okay, that's who they trust in. And like they always say, why do you love the devil when the devil give you nothing? They trust in them and they constantly get, what, let down. What do you expect when you trust it to a serpent? It's going to keep biting you. It's not going to feel any type of way. It's not going to finally have remorse for you or, or, or have a conscience. No, it's going to say, shoot, if you're stu too stupid to keep playing with me. That's why the scripture say what? Don't pity a charmer. You too, if you that stupid to keep trusting in me, then guess what? I'm going to keep on biting you until you get the hint. So, no, we need to trust in who? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Anytime we go through anything, whether it be good or bad, we trust in the Lord because it's all for a purpose. All right? We got Sirach 29 and 21. It says, the chief things in life is water, right? See that? So the number one thing it says water. And that's something that we're dealing with right now. We got a crisis going on in Mississippi. Okay, the water in Flint. Okay, you have this crisis going on right now where you have individuals, okay, that so called constantly want to be online. And I'm talking about you so called blacks and Latinos and American Indians, man, that online supposedly say that they have all this money, all this substance. Why y'all not putting y'all money together, okay, to figure out this water crisis? Are you Bloods? Are you Crips? Are you Trinitarians? Huh? How come y'all not putting your money together? Because at the end of the day, how can you gang bang without money? I mean, how can you gang bang without water? See, I cleave on to death, man. Okay, but look, he says these are the chief things for life is for in. Let me read that again. The chief things for life is water, and bread, and clothing, and and house to cover shame. Right. Verse twenty two. It says, you know, that's pretty much the point. I was looking for another one. But, hey, man, you know what? For right now, hey, those are those are, those are are the chief things that you need in life, man. Okay? Now, keep in mind, these are all things that you need. Now, in that time, if you're not part of the Lord's chosen, you're not going to have these things. You're not going to have access to these things. Okay? You're going to be put in a bind. You're going to be put in a situation where for you to even have these things, that's going to pursue to what? Revelation 13, chapter 16 on down, man. When it says, save he that have that mark, that MOTB, which the Lord commanded us not to take. That's ultimately you saying that you are this devil's property, okay? When you take that, 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 that chip and put that into your body, you are saying that you love your life 
more than you love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and that he that he uh, uh, is the master of you. That's the only way you're going to be able to eat out here. OK, and the whole four elect is not going to trust in this man. We're going to trust in the Lord and the Lord is the one that's going to be the one to sustain us, man. OK, that's going to be our true uh, uh, being recession proof. OK, because recession being recession proof is not based off of you uh, being protected by the, by, by, by the wicked of this world. OK. By this man that's ruling. No, the true recession proof is you being covered by your how about Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay? We got Matthew 6 and 19. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do of corrupt. Right, man. And guess what? In the end of the day, we're not saying for you not to work. We're not saying for you to uh to to, to not to um make any money because at the end of the day the scriptures tell you money is a defense you have to survive in this world but when you are putting a hundred percent more into you know getting the substance of this life than you are into these scriptures and not you know telling the people about what's going on in this world and not telling them that they are israel okay and not telling them about the law statutes and commandments about telling them about how you how about shim yahweh shah okay yahweh shah died for our sins when you're not waking them up to who they are it means nothing <laughs> All this stuff that these people are acquiring in this world ultimately is gonna is gonna is gonna pass away. It says where these break through and still, guess what? No matter what you have, somebody can steal that. No matter what you have in this world, it could be destroyed. Because ultimately, when those thermonuclear missiles hit, man, okay, pursuant to revelations, what John the Revelator seen. Everything is going to get burnt up. Everything that you worked hard for is going to get burnt up. Yeah, you have substance right now. That's cool. But ultimately, when it comes straight down to it, it's all going to get burnt up. So when you put 100% faith into it, you're putting faith into nothing. You might as well say Esau, wasted away is he. All that stuff is going to be wasted away. Continue on. Verse 20, it says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. You see that? So that's the true recession proof. Because guess what? If you have any type of money, somebody could break in and steal that. You could believe in this man's digital digital dollar, okay? But guess what? You have hackers that could just go in there and just change it. Okay, you know you got zero balance now. That's all it is. Everything is computerized. When you go to the to the uh, 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 ATM, it's just a number that they put. It's a digital number. That's it. That's it. Come on. Really think about it, man. Really, really, really like, really use your brain. That small ass... That small ass ATM, you really think that thing got billions of dollars into it? No, it's just numbers that they make up. Whenever they want, they can just type it in. T -t 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 you got zero balance. It's nothing. No, it says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. And how do you accumulate these treasures in heaven? Okay, by what? Praising Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, by constantly edifying. Okay, through these videos, being on the highways and byways. Okay, treating your brother like you would treat yourself in righteousness. Okay, charity. OK, that's how you do that. Constantly praying, fasting. OK, constantly building with one another, rebuking one another in righteousness. OK. That's how you do it. That's how you become a session proof, because guess what? In that time. When it's time to slowly start cashing out, because you need those reserves in that time of Jacob trouble, that's what the Lord's going to do for you. Now, you don't know how much. OK, you stored up in the heavens. Only the Lord keeps track of that bank account. But guess what? In that time, he's going to say, hmm, OK, the whole time he was on the highways and byways, he was doing a lot of things that even other Akim didn't know, because not everything is meant for everybody to know what you do. Some things are just meant for you and the Heavenly Father through his son, Yahweh Shah, to know. I'm going to say, yeah, you know what? This is his balance right here. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me uh, this is the time for him to uh, take some withdrawals out in this time. So guess what? I'm going to drop. I'm going to uh, drop a, pit, a care package off to him so he can be able to eat because he hasn't eaten in three days. Guess what? I'm going to keep him protected. So when these Gerber troopers try to uh, uh, get him, you know, I'm going to give him that spiritual power. So he's just going to disappear on him. You see, those are things that says what? Where neither moth nor rust do a corrupt. Right. Esau can't touch this. The devil of this world can't touch this. OK, I don't care how much they may try to do their space program going to outer space. They cannot. They cannot physically take the treasures of heaven. They cannot physically take your crown. Okay, they can't take your spiritual crown, man. If that happens because you allowed it to happen, it's because you gave it over. And that's why, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, okay, that's pushing this word and truth and sincerity are the number one threat to this society. Because it's something that they can't control. They control everything else in this world. That's why I said Job 9 to 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. 
But the spiritual world, the spiritual knowledge, they cannot touch it. It says where and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Right. They can't break into the kingdom of heaven, man. OK. They can't do that. They can't try to overthrow the most high's uh, 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 throne. They cannot do that. So that's where you want to lay your treasures up. That's the true recession proof right there, man. And let me get it. We got Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, that I will send a famine in the land. And we are starting to see, okay, these little sprinkles of famine all over the world. Venezuela, all over the world, man. Okay, it just hasn't reached the mass population in uh, uh, the daughter of Babylon, which is what? America, man. But when it does, a lot of you people are going to be unprepared. It says, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. You see, and that's the other thing. Let's keep it more spiritual. Guess what? It's going to be a real recession, which we are seeing right now, which is what? The famine of the word. In that time, all you individuals that wanted to walk past the camp, scoff, didn't take it serious. You know, you have certain neighbors you try to build with. You know what I'm saying? They act like they care, but they don't. You know what I'm saying? In that time, guess what? They're going to be looking for, they're going to be looking for that thirst of the word. Like, oh, I'm parched. I need, uh, 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 can I read a scripture? Where, where, where the brothers at? No, we ain't going to be there. We ain't going to be out there no more. That's going to be the recession. That's going to be the drought of the word. But guess what? In that time, the brothers, okay, the hopeful elect, guess what? They are going to be recession proof. Why? Because they stored up that word. Okay. They stored up that word. We've been saving it up. Like we just read in Matthew 6 and um, um, 20. We stored it up in the heavens. Okay? That's what it is. That's what that true water is, is the word. And in that time, guess what? Yeah, it's going to be a, 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 a famine of the word, but it's going to be for y'all, not for the brothers that's been in this work, been in this truth, man. In sincerity, mind you. Because not every brother that hear it, OK, it's going to be protected because you have individuals in this truth that don't take it serious. They just do it because, you know, just something to do, because the biggest thing now, oh, Israelite, they're not taking this serious. OK, but that's the, but I say that to say this, that's the true uh, recession proof, man. Let's continue on. Make this short to the point. Isaiah 13 to 12, it says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. You see that, man? Going back again. You know, individuals want to talk about substance. Guess what? Scriptures let you know the kingdom of heaven is in you. You are that fine gold. Okay? When you talk about substance, that's you. And the Lord is purifying you right now as we speak. So on that time, you're going to have that substance. You're going to be glorified as being part of that gold. Even a man, then the gold um, wedge of oof, um, Ophir. Okay, and that's the finest gold that you're going to find. That's the finest gold there is. Okay, so in that time, the Most High is gonna, uh, 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 the Most High is gonna have a spiritual substance, okay, on the elect, man, okay, and these men are gonna be the one that's truly recession proof, all right. So don't get so uh, enamored, don't get so uh, beguiled by everything that you see. No, focus on the things that you can't see. Focus on the spiritual aspect, because that's what's gonna sustain you in that time. Yeah, you can see them living it up. Cool. See them living it up, you know, eating their bullshit, shrimp and lobster, saying that they ate good, seen it with their bust down rollies. Cool. I want to see you eat that bust down rollie in that time when the family come. I want to see when you start peeling off different uh, 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 blocks of your house and cutting off different woods from your house and trying to eat that like a freaking steak. What's that going to do to you in that time when they breaking into your doors looking for your food, when they ravishing your woman? When they killing you for anything, man. No, in that time, the Most High is going to take care of his prophets. And those are the ones that's going to be truly recession proof, man. Okay? Those are the ones that's going to truly have the assets. And that assets is what? You know, having the kingdom of heaven. Having the promise. Okay? Having his word. And guess what? Abiding by it and to death, man. Okay? Through the spirit of power of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shah. So I pray it's been edifying. Um... 
Well, I'd like to give a fitting honors to my Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Kagwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS that rule well in truth and sincerity. Salutations to the hopeful elect, House of David, Dab, 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 man, women, and children, they put in word of truth and sincerity. Salutations again to the shepherds of bread camp, and salutations to the hopeful elect. May the most I raise you up in a speedy fashion. <clears throat> Till next time, Lord willing, inshallah.